Good morning, everyone. Hopefully, as you've been sitting here under the vibrational frequency of the prayer of Reverend Arlene Hilton and the perfect stillness of Reverend Coco, that you have a slight smile on your face, that you're not efforting, you're not trying to make anything happen, that you're sitting in an awareness, an ever-increasing awareness of your oneness with life itself. When we use the word life, we're speaking about the only life that there is, which is the life of the presence of God. That name may be charged for many people because it may conjure up old theologies of a man in the sky that has chosen people and sends people to hell and things of that particular nature. But humanity, well, a lot of humanity has evolved way beyond the caricature of life. And we understand that when we say life or God or the presence that's never an absence, we're not speaking of an anthropomorphic being. We're speaking of a presence that is never an absence, a presence of love and beauty and joy and intelligence and more. And so as we're sitting here with a sweet smile on our face and catching an ever-expanding awareness because we are awareness itself, of life, that our, our life is an emanation of the only life that there is. And as you begin to sit in the meditation to become familiar with this divine life, this life that is forever, eternal, infinite, you'll begin to notice that at this precise moment, you're not concerned about quote unquote your problems. You're not concerned about how to solve them, nor are you constantly repeating the same thoughts that you've had every single day, 60, 70,000 thoughts, most of them being the same thoughts you had the day before. Silliness. Now you're sitting here in sweet repose, opening yourself up to original thought called inspiration shot from the heart and mind of the infinite. Thoughts of beauty and love and intelligence ultimately formulating a, a vision of possibility for your life so that you're beginning to sit in an awareness of a vision pulling you. so that your vision that is pulling you is way bigger than your memory of any trauma that has happened in the past. But you have to do this every day. Sit. Open yourself up. You've heard it said so many times that you can't solve a problem at the level of the problem. So why go in and dig at the level of the problem? be pulled by something that's never been hurt, harmed, or endangered in any way. And you know what will shift? Your personality that's been forged by time and experience and dramas. It will begin to shift. And the presence will begin to shine through your countenance. You'll be the opposite of boring. You know what's boring? Having the same thoughts every single day. Same perceptions, same habits, same actions, same reactions to people that, that you don't like and stuff like that. That's boring. Can you imagine if today you're complaining about, still complaining about something that happened a long time ago? That's boring. When you're saturated with the infinite presence of infinite good. Now, of course, we have to move beyond the philosophy of this. This is, you have to enter into the practice in order for real change to take place. The real practice is, is sitting, allowing the coherence, your oneness with the presence to be more real to you than the very chairs you're sitting on. A little bit every day to start, and you'll begin to notice the feeling tonality of a presence 
the feeling tonality that all is well, the feeling tonality that your need is met, the feeling tonality of safety will begin to take over your life. And you'll notice that when you're in a community of lovers of God and lovers of humanity, you're not rehashing your issues all the time. You're in really comfortable silences, or you're speaking of possibility, vision, inspiration, humor, laughter, joy. It's a different frequency, it's a different vibration. And you're no longer a victim to your own thought that you project on other people saying that other people make you feel a certain way. That's boring. That's really boring. Somebody else has the power to make you feel this or that away. It's time to grow up. But it's only philosophy unless you practice. Then once you practice, you have insight. You really change. And you find that you can move through the world. Stuff is happening in the world. The world of phenomena. It's called the world of phenomena. Because thought forms are transmuting into experiences and people are agreeing on these experiences. They're having all kinds of experiences. They're in the experiential realm. Stuff's always happening in the world of phenomena. But you can walk as a nominal being in a phenomenal world. And like Meshach and Abednego, move through it without being burned. In the world, but not of it. Again, this is all philosophy to you until there's a deep level of practice we actually see and become the evidence for yourself. That you can actually be happy, be in joy, be in peace first before external manifestation takes place. That's real life. Backwards living. It's waiting for something out there to change so you can be happy. Ooh, just sign up for your victim card if you're gonna live that way. Just say, just stand in line and say, I wanna be a victim because I'm waiting for someone or something out there to change before I can be happy. That's backwards living. It's not metaphysical. It's the wrong use of metaphysics. Beyond the physical realm, we start with a deep sense of well-being, a deep sense of love and peace and joy and all needs met. First, then, evidence shows up. And the lack of evidence is not the evidence of lack. We learn to wait in the feeling tone of the all good. Let's be still and meditate together. bring your shoulders to your ears and squeeze the body really tight, the face, the feet, the hands, the scalp, everything tensing up. Take a little air in, just squeeze, release, so that you've practiced the opposite of what you want. Slight smile on the face, hands facing upward. Sweet sign of receptivity, availability, openness, yielding, surrender, allowing. Slight attention to the space between the eyebrows, tongue at the roof of the mouth, creating a wonderful circuit of energy. Establishing an intention, a vibrational intention to wake up from the intoxicated sleep of separation from life, from the presence.
the intention to have a realization of our oneness, our inseparability from the presence of God, our oneness with God. Remember, not a man in the sky, but a presence that is never an absence. We're sitting with this intention. I want to wake up. from any sense of separation, from me being the glory of the living God. I have dominion over my attention now and it's embracing my my intention and it's embracing my body temple breathing. I'm not merely in my body, that's one aspect, but my body is also in my field of awareness. So I can witness the body and I can witness the body breathing presently, which becomes a vibrational anchor to the present moment. sit with an awareness that there is an eternal broadcast from heart, mind, infinite. Let there be life, let there be light, let there be beauty everywhere. I catch the broadcast with my openness and availability. I transcend the limited broadcast of the world fear, doubt, worry, lack, limitation, scarcity, hate, separation. I transcend that human broadcast, open myself up to the eternal broadcast of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Let there be life and light and beauty everywhere. I catch this broadcast. I'm attuning myself to this broadcast because this is what I am interested in. And I sit here for the very first time.
Where is your attention? You have dominion over it. And you're attentive to the breath. You're attentive to your intention to wake up to your glorious nature. Freedom.
is your attention right now? It's just an observation, an awareness. If your mind has taken flight somewhere, just bring your attention back to your intention, your breath, and begin again. Do this over and over and over again and you'll become a master of your attention. And the world will not be able to hijack it at will. Hijack it with fear and worry, doubt. That's not for sons and daughters of the Most High, cosmic beings having a human incarnation, no. Do not let the world hijack your attention. Come home to yourself. Let's take a nice, pure, deep inhalation. Release. And allowing ourselves to be the established individuals, individual meaning, undivided, established individual beings in the light and the love and the beauty of God Almighty, God all beauty, God all joy, God all intelligence. We enter into this prayerful moment with a, a great deal of gratitude, a great deal of thanksgiving and appreciation. This is where the energy flows because this is where our attention goes. We can do this. We can lift ourselves out of the quagmire and quicksand of fear and worry. And come right now into a state of gratitude. We can do this. Let's do this. Let us rise in gratitude right now in thanksgiving and pure appreciation and recognize the great presence that is everywhere. The presence of love and the beauty and intelligence. Life itself. And feel such a wonderful awareness of our coherence with it. We're one with God. There's absolutely no difference nor distance. It is from this sense of coherence with reality that the word, the vibrational frequency of the absolute order and harmony and peace and beauty is spoken. For each and every one of us today that we may be free. Free from the mental debris of separation. Free to soar into the realm of an ever-expanding good. Limitless nature. I speak the word for each and every one of us. That divine and compelling right action takes place in our life. That divine health Harmony, wholeness, reign supreme. That all of our needs are met. That harmonizing prosperity and abundance absolutely manifest with an ease, a grace, and a dynamic dignity. Everything is working together for our good. We feel it right now. We don't ask how or why. We say it is. And we allow the God times to roll through us today. This word is serving as a law of elimination to anything that would hinder, delay, obstruct, or deny the fullness of life moving through us right now. 
shot back into the nothingness from which it has come, never to exist again. Oh, let us revel in our freedom, our spiritual liberation, our dynamic peace, our infinite joy, our harmonizing prosperity. It's happening now. Right now, it's happening. It's happening now. Oh, yes, here we are. And what do we do? Let's give thanks for the eternal gift that has been given. And in this moment of thanksgiving, we receive it fully and completely. It is done. And because it is done, we can say unequivocally, and so it is. Even now, especially now. Amen, Amin, and Ashe. Now, so be it. So be it. So be that frequency of the all good. You can be this. Hmm. So as we step into the feeling tone of gratitude and thanksgiving, let me be very great, thankful for and grateful for you for participating in this glorious spiritual community, this community that spans the globe. And your soul is grateful that you're doing it as well. Now, step into the field of gratitude with me in this moment in whatever platform you're watching on. Be prepared to be generous, to give, to share, you, whatever word you love to use, sharing, giving, donating, tithing, offering, whatever feels good to you at this particular moment, enter into that space and come and prove and be the living evidence that the hands of the givers are never empty. That when you allow yourself to be a giver and think of yourself as a giver, not a taker, but think of yourself as a giver, then the universe supports you giving, therefore it has to give you more to give. It's law. We turn within and we give thanks for what we have to give. We bless it, dedicate it to the knowing of truth that makes us free, the truth of our being. And we allow it to be so, and so it is. So as we have prepared our heart and our mind to give, you give this way. The veterans, you already know how to do it. Great thank you for all of those who are auto-tithing and who have set their text to donate for regular giving. It really helps the finance committee with the budgetary aspect of running a community. Thank you so much for doing that. This is how you give. You can begin right this moment by texting to donate. Text the word, the word give to 424-321-6243. Everything that I'm about to say to you is gonna be on your screen for those who are sighted. Text the word GIVE to 424, what is it again? 321-6243. Your phone will prompt you. You choose the amount right now and, the, and how, many, how you want to give, the regularity of your giving. Just do it right now. Secondly, you can be on our website. You might be on different platforms watching Agape right now, but you can go to our website if you so desire. Agape Live, A G A P E L I V E, Agape Live.com. The banner at the top, there'll be a word that says donation. Touch that, as you know, with your cursor or your blesser. Sometimes we call our cursor our blesser. Anyway, take your blesser and, and follow the prompt. Make your donation. You can also mail it in. 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. Checks and money orders are made out to Agape International. Again, this is on your screen. If you're on our Facebook page, my personal public Facebook page, Agape's Facebook page, Agape International, there's a way to donate right there on your Facebook page. QR code. It's right here on your screen right now. If you're watching this, many of you have your computer plugged into your television and you have the big screen. Some of you are watching it on your computer. You can take your phone and put it, set it on camera setting, 
put it and take a put, not, you don't have to take a picture of it, but you can actually shine it on the QR code, and then that will take you through the prompts to give through the QR code. Those are the ways to give right now. Okay, if you can be elaborate and find other ways to give, go ahead and do it. But right now, give like there's no tomorrow because there is not. Give today so you don't feel any sense of regret in your life that you did not give what you could. God bless you. Reverend Julie. Good morning. You can visit agapelive.com for details on all items mentioned and all times are Pacific time. Mark your calendars. Tell your friends, join us for our next in-person service, Choir Sunday, August 28th, meditation at 11 a.m., followed by fellowship at 11.30. All services will, as always, continue to be live streamed. If you are seeking spiritual insight and advice around relationships, finances, health, life purpose, or an understanding world events, email Reverend Michael at podcast at michaelbeckwith.com and send in a question. Your question may be featured during his Life, Life Question of the Week segment in his upcoming new podcast, Take Back Your Mind. It's launching in the next coming of weeks, so stay tuned for that. To submit your question, limit your submission to one question only. Selected questions will be edited for clarity and conciseness. And mention your location, city, state, country, where you're at, and your first name only. Please know we cannot personally respond to all individual emails. When you combine quantum physics with high intentional frequency, you get Soak Sound Frequency Therapy, a technology that lifts your vibration, detoxes lower frequencies and assists in activating vibrant health, peace of mind, and total well-being. This is what you've been listening to during this meditation. And it's available to enhance and enliven your meditation. If you want more, you can enjoy one free trial week and sign up at the premium membership level. Receive a 50% discount by using the code AGAPE50. Go to SOAK, that's S-O-A-A-K dot com. Click on the premium membership and enter the code AGAPE50. Today, Teen Agape meets online at 11.15 a.m. Click the Teen Agape banner on our website to register. Preteens ages 9 to 13 meet at uh, 2 o'clock. Children ages 3 to 8 meet at 3.30. Both are live on Zoom. To join and get your Agape Youth Fun Packs, email revleon at agapelive.com. Today, the Agape Wise One invite our 50-plus community to experience expanding as the presence. At 2 o'clock, you can click on the Agape Wise One's banner on our website to register for this live Zoom event. The Crisis Support Clinic is, offers Zoom mini counseling sessions every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. to receive details for your first come, first serve, complimentary one-on-one -on -one session with a licensed practitioner. Email crisissupport at agapelive.com. This is offered to the community at large and anyone may attend. Also, Monday through Saturday, we've got you Agape's Facebook page, prayer at 8 a.m., meditation at noon. That's all live and you can archive. Agape Spiritual Community Gatherings. These meet on Fridays at 5 5.30 p.m., connecting community for an inspiring, enriching gathering led by our practitioners and ministers. Email scg at agapelive.com for the deets. And Odyssey, Agape's Young Adults Ministry, for those ages 20 to 35, invites you to join them for their August 26th, 7 p.m. gathering. Click on the banner on our website to join. Contact Rev Arlene at agapelive.com with any questions. And finally for today, did you see Reverend Michael doing all those push-ups on his appearance day? It, and he had all that energy after already doing three services. For years, we have all been asking him, I've been asking him, what are you doing? What do you take to give you all that energy, health, vitality, especially with his busy schedule? Reverend Michael has had a long list of supplements and superfoods that he takes every single day. And now he's put them all into one supplement, into one product line. Uh, let's see, now he's put them all, all the supplements and superfoods into one easy powder, Adaptozen Superfood Greens. Adaptozen Superfood Greens. You can get some today. It tastes great, even just mixed in with water. It tastes really good. You can try the bundle, get your monthly supply with the Adaptozen Vitamin D3 plus K2 to boost your immunity. Order yours today. Go to Nutrarize.com, click on the Adaptozen, get 10% off your first order. Many blessings to you. Many and multiple blessings, absolutely. 
turn within for a moment. We just give thanks for the, the abundance that's flowing through this offertory moment. That the wonderful nation of Agape, the wonderful global community, was in the process of giving even during these brief announcements. And it's flowing in right now. And that the promise and the promissory notes are being transmuted into everything necessary for us to be a beacon of light and a birthplace and a midwife, be a midwife to the beloved community. All of this is happening now. Freedom. And so it is. Amen. Reverend Julie mentioned that on August the 28th, 11 a.m., we'll have our meditation service, 11.30, our worship fellowship celebration service, live and in person. Last Sunday, we did not show you this video of what happened on July 24th. Watch. talking about a presence that is never an absence, that reveals itself as love, intelligence, beauty, harmony, wholeness, abundance, joy, life itself, you see? Life is good and all is well, yes? Life is good and all is well, yes? I want you to feel this now. I want you to place your burdens down, the mental burden, the emotional burden, whatever burden you may be carrying right now, I want you to just put it down for a moment. And come with me into the secret place of the Most High. Under the shadow of the Almighty, kneel your wholeness. I think I'm complete for today. <laughs> Join us on the 28th. Get here a little bit before 11 a.m. so that you can participate in the meditation service as well. The other, the other two services will be virtual, of course, but the last service live and in person. So we stop in this moment. We feel the impress of this song by Tim McAfee Lewis and Michael B. Beckwith, sung by Charles Holt. It says, I forgive me. I release all this past energy of guilt, of guilt. shame, she brings me pain. pain, trauma. Now is the time for me to let go. Now is the time for us to let go of the shame. The past behind. We put the past behind us. I see. It. We see it new. I'm ready. We're ready now for our change, our transformation, our metamorphosis, our transcendence beyond the personal mind. We're ready in this instant. I forgive me. I forgive me. Everything. We're letting go now of any constraints, any resistance, and allowing the floodgates to be so wide open that all of the power and presence and love and intelligence flows through and as us right now, and that our day becomes so bright with possibilities that we're able to anchor the realm of ever-expanding good, which is another name for heaven on earth as it is in the heart and mind of the infinite. This is a beautiful day. We say it is so, and it is so, and we live it fully, and so it is. Amen. Have a bright day. We'll see you at the 8.30 service meditation, 9 o'clock worship service, Pacific time. Peace and blessings.